As a species, we humans depend on many other species on Earth. One species in particular that we depend on heavily is bees. It's hard to imagine that without these small flying insects, we would not be able to survive much longer, but it is the truth. Sadly, the number of bees around the world is declining fast because of our actions. In this video, we will have a look at what bees exactly are and what they do, why we depend on them so much, why their numbers are rapidly declining and how we can save the bees. Bees are insects that belong to the Hymenoptera. The most famous bee species is the honeybee. This species is present in both summer and winter and lives in large colonies of tens of thousands. Such a colony has a queen that lays eggs. The bees cannot survive without her. Like all other bee species, honeybees collect nectar, but they collect much more than they need on a daily basis. They store the surplus as honey in homemade cumps. With this honey supply, the bees can survive the winter months when there is nothing left to pollinate. Other important pollinators among the bees are bumblebees. In addition to nectar, which is a sugary liquid that the plants secrete, bees also feed on the pollen from the flowers. They take this pollen to the flowers of other plants of that species where they eat. This pollinates the other plant. And so bees are responsible for the reproduction of many floral plant species. A third of the foodstuffs that people consume, such as apples, tomatoes, strawberries and coffee, are partly dependent on the pollination by bees. Since last century, the number of bees has declined with circa 60%. Bees dying without a significant or clear cause has been reported since the year 1868. We call this colony collapse disorder. But nowadays the rate of death is higher than it has ever been. One of the main causes could very well be pesticides. When bees eat nectar from a flower or plant with neonicotinoids on it, they die shortly after. Infections play a role as well. When there is lack of food, a colony becomes more vulnerable for viruses and parasites. Investigations show that bee declines are probably driven by a combination of all sorts of troubles. Pesticides, parasites, drought, air pollution, global warming and lack of flowers and plants. Many of these causes are interrelated. Since much of our food depends on bees, it's important that we save them. But how? Here are some of the ways to help save the bees. First of all, planting more wildflowers in and outside of the city. This makes sure that there is less lack of food, making the chances of a colony dying from parasites smaller. There are also no pesticides on these wildflowers. In urban areas, more and more cities are building green roofs on top of their buildings and wild vegetation on top of bus stops, benefiting bees and many other insects as well as birds. Another way to make impact is by providing bee homes. This basically means placing a bunch of wooden and wicker pipes and cavities in trees or on advertising masts, such as here in Utrecht in the Netherlands. Bees can lay their eggs in these bee homes and it provides them with a safe place. You can make one yourself and place it in your garden. This will help local bees a lot. By the way, did you know that bees get most of their nectar from trees? Therefore, planting trees also helps the bees. A blooming tree provides hundreds of blossoms to feed from. Trees are also an essential habitat for bees. And last but not least, avoid treating your garden and green spaces with synthetic pesticides. Instead, use organic products that only harm the not necessary insects such as pests. This was the video of this week. Hopefully you've learned about the importance of saving the bees and how you can help with this yourself. If you like these educational and inspirational videos, please subscribe to Keys to the Future and turn on the notification bell. See you next video.